Well, we're at the uh, Barnes Foundation's new facility on the Benjamin Franklin Parkway in Philadelphia. One of the things that uh, Dr. Barnes bought was the idea that he would build a collection and he would, and he would uh, present it to people in a way that got rid of all the paraphernalia of a normal art museum. He had Paul Philippe Cray design him a gallery out in Marion just for his collection. And then he commissioned Matisse to, Henri Matisse, to do this huge set of murals in these lunettes above the tall French windows in the main gallery space. Uh, it, it's one of Matisse's masterpieces uh, and it was done for this particular place. So this collection is, should be in, in art circles is world famous. So now here it is. The decision was made to move it. And uh, in 2007, uh, the selection committee, after interviewing a series of architects, selected Todd Williams and Billy Tsin. And my good fortune was they selected our firm and I got to work on it. So there are a couple of simple ideas. One is the, the building we set halfway up and halfway down so we get handicapped accessibility. It also allowed us to have an elevated space outside the building toward the parkway that I could plant that would act as a ha-ha and a screen toward the street. The second idea was that I would begin with a, with a body of water. So I proposed this big tabletop, table height basin of water that looks still but gushes and falls off the end. The second piece of water is right here behind me, which is this very calm piece. The first one's raised, this one's on the ground, and it has these beautiful stones in the bottom. It's very calm, and it leads you along this alley of trees to the door and the entry. This is, if you look at the work of Dan Kiley and you think about Lenote, the notion of, of having these geometries that take you along and you move, you move, you move. So that's very much the way this is organized, this site. Now the plants here, um, the planting palette is unusual for city parks, but not for mainline estates. It turns out Dr. Barnes' wife, Laura, was a devoted horticulturalist, and he loved gardens too, and a lot of the paintings show gardens and landscapes. And they have a wonderful collection of various things. So when I was working on the planting here, I thought, well, we can't make a suburban site and recreate it, and you shouldn't anyway, but you, there should be a memory you know, you should evoke, then make references to their thought and their sensibility and the character that would give unique character to this place. And so, hence, the Salle of Japanese Maples behind me. I don't know of another one in the world, outside of maybe somewhere in Japan, which I have not seen. Maybe in Nikko or somewhere they did it. This sculpture by Ellsworth Kelly is a recent uh, phenomena in that while we were in construction documents, one of the Board members, Joe Newtbauer. Joe has a great 20th century art collection, has a, actually owns some Kellys himself, saw in Ellsworth's studio a small maquette and said, ooh, what's this? Joe financed the, the manufacture and fabrication of this in California where most of Kelly's work is made and it was brought here and we installed it. So it came along and it's hard to believe that it was an addition because it seems as if everything was designed around it here. But that's how this project went. Things fell into place as, as people really got together in the nicest way.